Looks like artificial insemination is scheduled for today. My favorite. Hey, did I mention that over reading week when I went to Pennsylvania, I went to Penn State University where AI was developed? Oh yeah, I've heard a little about that guy. John something? Yeah, John Almquist. And thanks to him, we've seen a $600 million savings increase and production. Wow, I give an award for that. Well, he did win the International Wolf Prize in 1981 for his work on the preservation of sperm. Well, in that case, here's to John Almquist. Why this process controls disease, is cost efficient, improves genetics. Why it's artificial insemination! We'll get some high performance bulls to collect their semen, oh yeah. Keep talking, we'll keep talking. Best of all, it's cost efficient and prevents injury, oh yeah. I'll save some money, I'll kill to save some money. Disease will minimize and your cows will synchronize. You'll be loving what you have and you're producing lots of calves. First off, make sure external genitalia is clean to avoid contamination and infection. Then you're ready to enter the rectum. Keeping the gloved hand even with the inseminator, slide it along until you feel the cervix. Find the opening and move the gun through to the far end of the cervix. Right outside the cervix and just inside the uterine body is where the semen must be deposited. This placement gives the sperm the best chance to fertilize the egg. And we are done! Production's gonna be hot. Thank you, ooh, Alpha's gonna be hot. Production's gonna be hot. Ooh, 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 it's what you need for a good breed. 